So I was recently asked by a friend to go down to Fayetteville, Arkansas and shoot a little bit at Thikes Blues and Barbecue with him. And I decided that would be a perfect opportunity to bust out some Portrait 800 and give it a shot in my Minolta X700. So I got the X700 out, loaded it up with the Portrait 800, and debated the whole way down to Fayetteville from my house if I was going to continue to just shoot it at box feed at 800 or if I was wanting to push it to 1600 ISO. So once we got there, I decided just to go ahead and keep it at 800 ISO and shoot it at box feed. And I'm pretty glad that I did. It worked out extremely well. It turns out the Portrait 800 was the perfect choice for shooting bikes with a barbecue. Um, I was able to shoot it pretty far into the night before shutter speed started getting too slow for handheld stuff. The toning of the film and the colors of it worked out perfectly for this event in the time that we were there. I love the way that the colors look in the night shots. It's really awesome and cinematic looking and I couldn't be happier with my decision to leave it at 800. The contrast and color in the film is great for this. So a few weeks later it was raining torrentially and everything flooded here in Northwest Arkansas. So once the clouds finally decided to let up a little bit and it wasn't raining so hard, my wife and I decided to go for a little hike at our local park. And there's a creek that runs through and we were curious to see how flooded it was. And boy, we were in for a surprise to see exactly how flooded it was. I'm actually pretty impressed with how well Portrait 800 handled the daylight scenes. The balance for the colors is still pretty good in daylight. The grain is much less substantial and finer than I expected it to be. I'm actually super impressed with how well these shots came out during the daytime. And then finally, uh, to finish the rollout, I knew I needed to do some more shooting and then we were down in Rogers, Arkansas, trying to figure out what to do for the day. So we decided to go out to Lake Atalanta and do a little bit of hiking. So we wandered around, uh, shot some portraits with the Portrait 800 on my Minolta X700 of my wife, and a couple little nature shots, but a lot of portraits. So it is Portrait 800 after all, so it was super interested to see how it handled portraits during daytime. And again, I'm super impressed with the colors, the balance of it, uh, the white balance and everything came out really well. Um, and again, I'm surprised by the grain structure of it. Super fine and not obtrusive at all. Um, for an 800 speed film, it's pretty impressive what it can do.
another thing that's impressed me with the Portrait 800, the dynamic range of this film is actually pretty excellent. It retains highlight detail really well like most color negative film does, uh, but I'm mostly surprised how well it retains shadow detail. Uh, even in the night shots, there's a lot of shadow detail in these in the underexposed areas. Um, and when processed right, I mean, it looks great. Uh, pretty super impressed with Portrait 800. And overall, I'm pretty excited about shooting Portrait 800. It's been a really cool film and shooting it over the course of three or four weeks, I'm really surprised how well it handled such a wide variety of different situations. And I'm pretty pumped that the entire role came out pretty good. I had a few good shots from each weekend and I'm pretty impressed with it. This is my probably first or second time shooting Portrait 800 and I definitely need to shoot some more of it and I really want to try it in 120 now. The 35 millimeter version was great uh, and as usual my X700 was awesome to shoot with. So now just got to try it out in 120 and uh, also curious to push more rolls of Portrait 400 to 800. I've done that a couple times in the past and was super impressed with the way that Portrait 400 handled being pushed to stop. So I would like to do some more of that and compare it to the Portrait 800. Um, from what I'm recalling, it seems like my Portrait 400 shots that were pushed to stop were slightly more colorful, a little more saturated and contrasty than the Portrait 800, which makes sense because when you push color film, it usually does tend to boost contrast and saturation. But yeah, I'm super impressed with the Portrait 800 so far. I can't wait to shoot some more of it and compare it to Portrait 400 push to stop. So that might be something we'll do in a future video. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.